The Western Cape government is investigating the deaths of three construction workers. They died in a sewage manhole in Mitchell's Plain earlier this week. It's believed that the workers died after inhaling sewage fumes while trying to save each other. ENCS Nobesu Tehejana reports that residents who tried to help are still traumatized. Residents of Rocklands and Mitchell's Plain say they are still trying to make sense of what happened. Two maintenance workers were fixing this manhole died on Tuesday, but a second body was only retrieved the following day. Their supervisor, who had tried to assist them, died in hospital days later. The Provincial Infrastructure Department says investigations are underway as the manhole was not fit for access for men. Well, what we have ascertained so far is that two employees basically went down a manhole which was not actually meant for access for men uh, because some building material fell down the hole. The first uh, employee went down, he fainted uh, after inhaling uh, gases. We don't know what type of gas it is at the moment. The second employee went down, I was to go and look for Clearly, he's his fellow employee and he sadly also fainted. Then the foreman on the site, clearly, obviously, missing his two uh, workers, so went down the hole. Um, uh, he inhaled uh, the gases, but before he, uh, then, uh, the, he fainted, he then could at least shout so people could hear, hear them. And the, the foreman could be removed by co workers and he was rushed off to Tigerberg Hospital. We was put on a ventilator, but sadly, he's, that this individual is now the, the third person that sadly died. Some residents who were on site during the incident say they are still traumatized. Well, it was only myself and my neighbor, um, and he actually managed to um, pull the one guy out. Okay, it, it was a very traumatic experience, but at that particular point in time, there was no one else really. You understand? There was no one else really around here. And we were the only people here, and we did the best that we could to assist. The guy that we pulled out, uh, that they pulled out, right, I told him to turn him on his side so that he can at least breathe, and then he vomited uh, quite a lot of liquid. The company's community liaison officer says some workers are currently receiving counseling, but it's appealing to the public to refrain from speculation about the deaths and wait for the investigations to be concluded. It's a sad moment for everybody at the office. Uh, the only thing that hurts me is that, you know, there's so much... Uh, Yes, I think it's going around, speculation going around. Uh, I think people should wait until we have the results and then we can release a proper statement by saying what has really happened. You know, but everybody seems to know as far as they are concerned what has happened. But at this stage, there's nothing much we can say. The families of the deceased say they are saddened by the sudden deaths and are asking for space to grieve their loved ones. Nobesutu Ejana, Cape Town.